Welcome back, everybody. Another episode of The Wonderful World of Aluna. And today we are uh, in a giant mine kind of thing from uh, that Claudius Minimus has kind of started work on. And I am just going to go harvest some resources here. Um, you know, as you notice, I'm only got my trusty wooden pickaxe, which I just want to use till it breaks. I do have a stone one as well, which I will have to use to harvest any of these minerals. And I definitely want to harvest a lot of minerals because minerals are cool. And who doesn't want cool minerals? Um, from the sounds of it, he pretty much just wants to make this much larger. He's got like a big castle going on, which we will take a look at at the end of this video. Uh, you know, gotta gotta build that hype train, keep people staying around. Um, so we'll take a look at that later on. It's not finished yet. Um, I think actually I was here before in one of my like... Uh, uh, earlier videos, and uh, he had kind of just started like the layout and everything, and uh, broke good, and now he is further along, and just needs an area cleared out to, yeah, keep building. So, and I need a lot of stone to build my stuff, so definitely going to take advantage of this opportunity he extended out to me. So big thanks to Claudius Minimus for opening this up and letting me come here and harvest resources and all this good stuff. Um, let's see what else to mention. I believe that this is something to note. Um, in the realm of mind test development, and I wish I knew what that squeaky noise in the background was, but I don't. Some sound effect. I'll have to tone it down in post. Um, in the realm of mind test development, there have been some changes being worked on with lighting. And as you should know by now, if you've been following my videos for any length of time, I am, well, A, I use Linux. Oh, that didn't last very long. And B, I am running the latest development build of Mindtest, which means I get all the new features as soon as they're merged with Trunk, which is phenomenal then I don't have to wait for releases to get cool new features. One of the cool new features is really a very big lighting overhaul. Like, we're talking huge. Some of this stuff's been committed and merged into trunk. Some hasn't. Some still work in progress. But, uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff going on there. And the only reason I'm mentioning that is should you hop on the server and visit some of these places and you're like... How come his lighting is so much different than mine? What in the world? Why is it so bright and for me it's so dark? It could be because I am using a developmental build that has, yeah, different coding in the client for how lighting works. I know they were tweaking some stuff with gammas uh, to make stuff appear brighter. They were changing like the fall off patterns for torches. So you would have more intense light up close, and then even off in the distance, you'd still have brighter light. One of the other things they've been working on is smooth lighting, which uh, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but the way the engine works for illuminating stuff uh, was really only 
very optimized for lighting up square nodes like we have here. And then people started using node boxes and the ability to use meshes was introduced. And that kind of made things not work so great with the lighting that was available. So things have been uh, getting worked on and tweaked. And from what I seen this morning, as in the morning of my recording this, uh, is that a couple changes got merged in. And those changes, uh, yeah, kind of make stuff look brighter, which is super duper because brighter is better. Man, I should have made a steel pickaxe first time around. Way better than that cobblestone one I had. I want to get some of those diamonds yet, too. There's diamonds here someplace. I know I've seen them. I kind of feel bad just grabbing all these resources. Where are those diamonds, though? I need diamonds. I actually have no idea why I need diamonds other than to make better tools. What I need is coal is huge. Because coal is used with cobble to make a different color of cobble. So let me let me see if I can remember how to do that. I think it was two cobble and two coal. Yeah, it makes a basalt cobble. I think I want to use that for my buildings. Now, I'm not going to use it for everything in my buildings because, well, honestly, I'm not going to ever find enough coal to do that. So, I'll do it for like a lower layer or something. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely some cool stuff that I want to work with and use a lot of different color combinations that I want to achieve. Um, oh, other thing I wanted to mention, somebody left a comment... Actually, I believe it was Claudius Minimus who left the comment on one of my videos. Not the last one released, because I think I have a video yet to release before this one actually releases, which will have been released by the time you see this video. It will have been last week's video. Um, but he said you could make a wall mount crafting guide using sticks like that, a craft sign. And now he said these are kind of better than the books. Oh, wow. Much larger. Okay, so let's just pick something here. Adobe panel. And it tells us how to craft it. We can do bookmarks in it. 46 pages. Arrow slits. Hmm. Um, let me just dig that down. Don't necessarily want to pollute his cave with signs that are unimportant. All right, well, this is some place that I need to just gather lots of material from. I don't know what my depth is here, but this is within a cave realm. So, yeah. That's a thing. I can, uh, I can, and I probably will actually head off some distance from here and set up some kind of little something that I can go back to later in the future and use it as a small base where I can kind of do my own mining operation. Because, again, I'm going to need lots of raw materials here to build the stuff I want to build and no better place to find raw materials than in a cave realm these places are just chuck full of resources tons of iron copper tin whatever this stuff is I think it's actually tin but then there's that which I don't know silver maybe and then of course there's tons of stone and always need more stone. 
So that's handy too. I thought I saw diamond here somewhere. No, that's not diamond. Where I know it. There it is. I can't reach that high. Okay, so let's do this. Oh, come on. Yes, there we can. Ha ha ha. The old sneak trick. This is actually really handy. Um this is what Claudius Minimus set up actually to get into this area here. It's uh, a sneak jump elevator where you jump and hit shift and you sneak right along. Okay. So you said this is a cobble compressor. Just throws that all through. Okay, I'm a little confused on that. So nine gives one stack. Hmm. And you just, you're supposed to hit shift as you go down. It takes you down tier by tier. Works really well, actually, and is relatively easy to do. Uh, I may grab that cobble back. Actually, yes, I will. I will definitely grab some compressed cobble out of that machine. I think you can decompress cobble. I don't actually know for sure. I would imagine so, though. It would only make sense. I don't know if I'm going to need... I might use compressed cobble for some stuff. I might. I don't know, I kind of feel like that's going to be a little too expensive. And that I won't have enough cobble to do it. Maybe, uh, maybe later on. That'll be something I use in later builds. But for starters, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford that. Like, I'm not going to have enough cobble to be compressing at all. And then being able to build anything. So, and I got a lot of big stuff I want to build. Big, huge, gigantic stuff. Eh, whatever. This is, like, gonna be the worst video ever. It's so boring, dude. All you did was mine a million, billion pieces of cobble. And then some ores here and there. I'm like, yup, 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 I sure did. So tell me again, why were you watching it? If it, oh man, if it bored you so much. Like there's 10,000 things better you could do with your time, including, but not limited to, uh, downloading and playing on this very server yourself. Yep, that's right folks. You can download this game free of charge and then play on this server. Again, free of charge. By yourself. All you have to do is visit their form, uh, follow the instructions to gain interact on the server, and yeah. Then you're, you're free to come and enjoy. Now, I was told I should try to take out some lava flans. So I'm going to end up doing that in a little bit here. But first, let's grab some more of these minerals. Minerals. I don't think I can make coal from wood. I'm pretty sure I checked that before. That would be a, a very nice addition, though. Because, let me tell you, it's much easier to get wood than to find coal. Though there's actually a lot of coal here. Um, but yeah, that will let me make a lot more of that basalt cobble. This is so bright. I don't think it's supposed to be this bright. Like, I feel like there is a glitch going on in my version here. Light should not be propagating this far. Should it? 
I don't think so. Unless these are some kind of magical lights that produce more light than normal. Ooh, it goes down. It goes down, down, down. Oh, hey. It's a locked door. Well, in that case, let's go up, up, up. And hope. Oh, there we go. No problemos at all. Let's just shift jump on up. And I'm going to take one stack. I don't think I legitimately put in enough material to earn one stack. Whoa. No, I don't want that. Front tower. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. And then head on out the door. Let's find us some lava flams. So this is this is the castle. No. Yeah, kinda just straight drop off there. It's a pretty No I'm probably dead. Just guessing. I'm holding down the shift key. But I'm probably dead. You have got to be kidding me. I took zero damage from that fall. I should have taken damage. There was something that just fell down. Or well, maybe not. What's this stuff? I can harvest it. Oh, hey! It's basalt stone. Cool beans. Well, let's snap some of that. I did not know this was even a naturally occurring thing. I think it must have been uh, added to the map gen. This is kind of weird, actually. It's like forming a fake layer on top of... Ah, the ground that's below it here. Um. Mm. Yeah, that was. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm in some kind of weird cavernous type thing here. I don't know. I don't know how to get out. Oh, wait. Nope. Something was just flickering over there, though. Maybe I can mine my way out. There we are. Okay, yeah, there's something weird about this. Ha! Huh. And some zombies. Hey, buddy, you want a taste of my blade? Yeah, try that on for size. Well, that was at least a benefit. He couldn't get me. What? I'm going to grab this stuff. I have no idea what those blue things are. I think it's a worthless, worthless material, though. Glow crystal ore. Yeah, I would call that a worthless material. Um... Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. I can't really tell. Something's trying to walk on top of me. Zombie. What? What killed me? That's horrible. Um. Yeah, that's... That's not cool. Well, I guess we'll go back to... The castle. And I will try to retrieve my bones. So that was Claudius Minimus Bumerus Castle or something. And let's see. Ba -da -da, right here we go. I forget where I fell off the world though. 
think it was this edge right here actually yes it was so not gonna do that right now I'm gonna run around here well I guess I can't really harvest or you know attack those guys who don't have a sword anymore but let's get to a point where we can kind of see there we are so he's building this really epic castle in a cave realm it's got a lava moat flowing around it it is a very legit structure 10,000 times better than anything I'm gonna build but yes that is here to explore if thou so desireth and now let me uh, fall to my death again but not die because I'll hold down shift okay I guess die because holding down shift didn't work that time I don't know what I landed on last time where it didn't kill me but I wish I could have landed on it again this time because that would have been nice well this may take a while I may end up dying multiple times and I'm pretty sure nobody really wants to watch that so I might just go ahead and do my killing and dying off camera that really makes any difference anyways I will um catch you guys all next time